Good afternoon, and welcome to the Lunabotics Mining Competition um, webcast. This is the second one for this year. We welcome you all, and we are uh, very happy to announce that we have 60 teams after yesterday's deadline. So we are very excited. We have a great group of, of colleges that are coming here to compete, and uh, we just wish you all the very, very best of, of luck and, and the best wishes possible. So um, keep up the good work. And we are looking forward to judging the papers and, and um, hearing more from you as this month goes on. So thank you all. I'd like to introduce our project manager. I'm Susan Sawyer, the project coordinator who you hear a lot from, uh, get a lot of emails from. But I'd also like to introduce the NASA project manager, Gloria Hi, Murphy. Everyone. She is the one uh, who is in charge of this entire endeavor. and. Uh, Nothing happens without her. So thank you so much for joining us today. And, thank you, Susan. Um, and I'd like to thank Susan for all her hard work, because nothing would happen without that for sure. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. OK, so we'll get started with the webcast. Um, and uh, as you have questions, please email them to me at susan.g.sawyer, S-A-W-Y-E-R, at nasa.gov. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Susan. And um, the purpose for today is to talk about how things are going to go operationally. We're not going to be talking about anything technical, really. So if you have any technical questions, um, do send those in to Susan as you normally do, and we'll send those to the judges and release them in the FAQs. So today, again, we're just here to talk about how things are going to flow, what to expect um, when you come to KSC, and um, some changes for this year. We've made quite a few enhancements. Um, so in general, we'll be talking about you know facility, logistics, check-in, and, uh, and those types of uh, processes. Okay. okay, the things that are new this year is we have changed it to where you will have one practice attempt. And, oh, sorry. The best. Sorry, get the hang of this in a minute. Um, for new this year, we have one. You'll have one practice attempt, and that will come on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday morning. We'll talk more about the schedule in a minute, um, and then you will have two official competition attempts. Um, also new this year, you're all aware that we have Luna points, so you'll be earning Luna points in the Luna Arena. The, um, the Luna Pits will be open during the comp competition days this year, so you will have air conditioning the entire week, and uh, we hope that will, um, will make things more comfortable for you while you're here. And there are no quarantining of the, the Luna Bots this year, so you may work on your Luna Bots the entire week. Um, after your first competition attempt, if you want to make a few tweaks or changes or fix something, you are welcome to do that. Uh, the Team Spirit judges will also be around during the, the practice days this year. That's new. They just came for the competition, and they felt like they kind of missed, um, missed some things that the teams did during the practice days. So this year we're going to have them there as well. Um, the, the drawing party, that is definitely new this year. That's going to be a very exciting time. We're providing lunch for everyone, and it'll be in the Luna Pits. So we'll be drawing for... Uh, order for team or for competition order during that luncheon. So um, it'll be very exciting and then the opening ceremony will start right after that. So it and then we'll go right into the competition. So we're it's a very exciting time and we hope that you'll enjoy that. Um, and then um, the presentations and demonstrations are going to be live this year in front of a panel of judges. So um, we will do our very best to make sure that you are um, on a different day and time, or at least morning or afternoon, um, opposite of your, your competition attempts. So we'll do our best to make the scheduling possible, you know, um, coincide so it's, you're not doing two things at once. Mm -hmm. The career fair this year is, is exciting. On Thursday evening from 5 to 8, we are having a career fair where um, corporations are coming to 
to see you and meet you and possibly provide jobs. So we are, um, we're very excited about that new possibility for you and, and opportunity. As I mentioned earlier, the stage uh, will be inside the Luna Pits, and that's where the drawing will take place, and then stay in there for the entire competition, since that is where all the action is going to be, mostly. We will still have the round from prior, the prior year. Um, it'll still be out there, and you all can sit out there in the, in, under the tent or whatever, but um, more things will be going on inside the Luna Pits this year, so we move the stage into the Luna Pits. And we'll have some... Um video screens in there as well, so you can yes. see what's going on. Yes. We'll have, you'll be able to, to see and hear what's going on from inside as well as outside. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the uh, water this year will be provided by Caterpillar as well as several other items that they've donated, so um, they're um, a wonderful sponsor for the competition. And so they'll be providing cups and water for all of the, um, the competitors and faculty this year. Okay. Next, we'll talk about the itinerary. Okay. And um, for this year, um, what we have is a very detailed itinerary. And this is going to be on the back of your um, badge. So you will have this with you at all times. So you'll know at all times what's going on. Um, basically, um, as Susan mentioned earlier, on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday morning, we'll be doing practice. And then on starting Wednesday afternoon is the official competition and presentations. And then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday as well is the official uh, competition and presentations. Um, we have, uh, we're stopping for lunch every day from 12 to 1. And on Wednesday, our sponsors, uh, Caterpillar, will be providing lunch for everybody. And that'll be uh, during the drawing party. And then the opening ceremonies right after that. And all of this is going to be inside the Luna Pits, the, the lunch and the opening ceremonies. So we can all be in the nice air-conditioned environment. Um, let's see. After that, um, Thursday evening will be the career fair. And that's from 5 to 8. So we're going to stop the competition about 4.30 on Thursday so everybody can uh, get ready to go to the career fair. And we're going to do that. Um, we're going to... Um, half the folks will go at the beginning and then the other half will go in the middle and we'll let you know closer to the time uh, when you'll be going. Basically it'll be in alphabetical order. So half the teams go first and then the other half so that we don't have 800 people walking into the career for all at once. It'll be too much for everyone. And then um, let's see, Saturday uh, we'll be stopping the competition about 4 o'clock. The judges will be having their meeting to decide um, to finalize all the winners. And then at 6 o'clock, we'll be heading off in buses to the Saturn V for our award ceremony. Did I forget anything, Susan, on the schedule? Um, There's a lot of details in there. Yeah, a lot of details. Make sure you look at it really closely. We'll be sending this presentation out to all the teams so you can uh, really look at it close, closely. And it's on the website as well. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to be checking the website for changes. Um, we're modifying it weekly and or bi-weekly starting you know now so that we can keep you all abreast of everything mm -hmm. okay so prior to arrival at the competition uh, you'll need to make your hotel arrangements and make sure that you um, are, are have all of those arrangements made prior to your arrival um, we'll be providing a bus to some of the area hotels in Cocoa Beach. We'll talk more about that in a minute, but I just want to let you know that the buses will be in Cocoa Beach. Sorry. Um, so if you need to get a hotel and you plan to ride the buses, you'll need to stay in Cocoa Beach. Um, very important. This is extremely important. The ship to address needs to be exactly what is on this slide. It's also in the rules. So um, do not send your robot to the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. You need to send it to the transportation officer at NASA, the central supply. They will then bring your Lunabot over to the competition um, prior to the competition. We're going to have them delivered on Friday before the competition. So they'll be in your Luna pit waiting for you when you get here. So it's very important that you don't 
send it to the visitor complex or anywhere else. Make sure you send it to this address very um, exactly. Very exactly. Sorry, that's not a word. Uh, and then for your return shipping, then you will be picking, the shipping company will be picking it up from the visitor complex. So you need to give the, the uh, shipping company this address, the second address on this slide to, um, for them to return it back to your college. Um, no robots will be, no Lunabots will be allowed to be left here. We cannot accept them. So if they're not shipped back to your to you somewhere, um, your college or wherever you need to send them, um, they will be discarded. And we would hate to do that. So mm -hmm. hopefully you'll be able to make shipping arrangements. If not, you will need to dispose of them. Next is um, things about the visitor complex. Gloria. Thank you, Susie. Um, let's see. So at the visitor complex, there are uh, a lot of amenities that are available for everyone. They offer a fantastic tour of the Kennedy Space Center, and those will be available to you uh, at a discounted price, and we'll um, have that information in detail out to you later. Um, the, uh, if you have some family members or guests that are coming with you, they can also buy discounted tickets for the visitor complex. Of course, for all of those that are competing, you do not have to buy a ticket. You are, uh, your entrance is, is um, provided by the competition itself. Um, there is food available at the uh, visitor complex uh, for purchase. And... Um, all your food and special items that you want to buy um, are at a 10% discount if you show your badge ahead of time. Now, there will be a couple instances where we are providing food for you, and that is, uh, as you mentioned, lunch during the drawing party is provided for you for free. And then at the career fair, we'll have uh, refreshments, you know, such as uh, appetizers and, um, and the like. And then dinner at the award ceremony, like last year. Um, and then the last thing to remember is to watch out for wildlife at KSC. We have a lot of um, endangered uh, animals here. We have a lot of animals that are dangerous to you. And so just for everyone's protection, for your protection and for the animals' protections, just um, uh, stay away from the wildlife as much as you can. Okay. okay, we've had a couple of questions, so we'll just stop for a second and answer a couple of those. Uh, Lindy Roberts from uh, John Brown University is asking if they are would be able to have their practice run be 15 minutes in length instead of 10 since they only get one opportunity to test. And I, you may wind up getting 15 minutes because of whatever circumstances, but mostly it's going to be a 10 minute thing mm -hmm. because there are so many teams this year. We really won't have time to give teams much longer than that. You can test all you want inside the Luna pits with tethered um, but mm -hmm. or out in the grass or whatever if you need to you know see if it'll work or whatever um, and there will be many opportunities we didn't mention this I think during the schedule uh, there will be many opportunities where um, you are able to go wireless this year. We have uh, carved out time slots and we'll make those announcements. In general, they will be whenever the competition is not or the practice runs are not going. Mm -hmm. So we'll have wireless, you know, times that you can connect wirelessly. Um, you may interfere with each other, but it will give you the opportunity to at least test that to make sure you're, you're operating wi wirelessly is, is good. Okay. Um, the other question is... Uh, one team will be arriving on the 19th and bringing their robot with them. Can they access their Luna pit during that time? And the answer is no. Um, you can only start bring, coming come into the competition on Monday morning, the 21st. Mm -hmm. So you can be here as early as 8 o'clock on May the 21st to start setting up your robot. If you need to do that in your hotel, you may be able to... Um, you know, assemble in your hotel, I'm not sure, or outside somewhere, but mm -hmm. um, not at the, not in the Luna Pits mm -hmm. or at the competition. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and this one is, um, a name is mis misspelled something, so 
Um, I'll deal with this question separately. Okay. Okay, next. Next is the team conduct. And we have never had to, very much of a problem with this. And we don't anticipate having any problems with conduct this year at all. You are all adults and, and we treat you with respect and we, we expect respect back and um, we appreciate that. But in general, be positive in all your interactions. Teams displaying bad sportsmanship will be disqualified. And um, the judges' decisions are final. And potential employers will be present at the competition. So just keep that in mind. You never know who you'll be talking to, um, who you're interacting with. You may not be able to tell at all. So just always be respectful and professional in your, your conduct. What to wear? Okay, we you need to wear closed-toed shoes at all times because um, there could be things that you could that could drop on your feet or whatever. So make sure you wear closed-toed shoes. Um, for the more formal um, events, nothing is really formal here in Florida. But for the career fair and for the award ceremony, you'll probably want to wear um, pants or jeans, um, nice pants or or jeans or something. Um, during the competition, you are welcome to wear shorts because it is warm outside. Keep in mind that you will be in the Luna Pits a good bit and the, the Luna Pits are generally quite cold. So you might want to bring a sweater or a jacket or something, a light jacket, just to have uh, a little bit of, um, so it's kind of <clears throat> very cold in the Luna Pits, very warm outside, so layer yes. is the best we can do. Mm -hmm. uh, short sleeve shirts. And don't forget sunscreen, bug spray, wear your badge at all times so that people can identify you and uh, that where you're from. Stay hydrated. We want to keep you healthy. So we're going to try to keep you cool and make sure that you stay hydrated. Caterpillar, again, is has graciously volunteered to um, provide water for all the teams um, throughout the competition and practice days. So we're very happy for that. Um, although alcohol is allowed at the park. Alcohol is not allowed at the competition. Illegal drugs are not allowed at the competition at all. Smoking only in designated areas, so be mindful of that. Um, basically, Florida in general, when you come, the restaurants in Florida are all no, non-smoking, so make sure that you um, extinguish cigarettes inside basically any building in Florida. And for any questions, you may call my, my phone number is 321-867-5482. Thank you. Did you get another question? I had those. Oh, yes, we did. We got several new questions. Susan is the surprise witch. Not sure. Let me see. Um, the question from um, Columbia, German. I didn't understand the question, so if you want to resend that, um, send it again. Oh, here it is. Susan, is possibility of video beam for Team Spirit? I'm not, I don't quite understand your question, so if you want to resubmit that, uh, German from Columbia. Thank you. And, okay. And Gokul, do we need to assemble and reassemble the robot in NASA before the judges? No, you do not have to do that. It can come completely put together. You will not need to disassemble or assemble it in front of the judges at all. Yeah, the judges will be doing an inspection. They'll be looking for uh, safety features to make sure there's nothing um, that could cause a danger to anybody. And then also they'll be measuring it and weighing it and doing some other sort of inspections, but it can all be done with the robot completely intact. Yes. Okay. Um, can we add or alter our presentation after we have already submitted it? No, you, um, you can't. The presentation that you sent yesterday will be the presentation that will be preloaded onto the computers. Uh, the only variation is that you will be able to bring your laptop computer and show um, maybe a video or um, um, the anything, anything extra that, 
anything extra that you would like to mm -hmm. show on to the presentation judges at that time. Yeah, but remember, um, you know, you, you only have 20 minutes to present, so you have to think about that, factor that in if you want to show a video. And there will not be any Wi-Fi or Internet whatsoever in the presentation room. So you need, anything you need needs to be on your um, laptop. Or in the presentation that you already submitted. Mm -hmm. So we realize that the PDFs are a static presentation, that you wouldn't be able to do video in that. And um, we're sorry about that. That's just the way it has to be because of time constraints and just the difficulty in uh, getting all the different videos and everything in the on the, the folder and everything mm -hmm. for the for your presentations so um, answer is no basically okay um, okay from Florida International Lunabotics Ramon Earlier in the webcast, it was mentioned that generally we can uh, practice any time not scheduled for official practice runs or official competition runs. Um, does that mean we can practice in the actual Luna Pits during the free periods? If so, how does this work? And do we have to sign up for the time ahead of time? Uh, no, that is, it won't be an official practice. I'm just saying that you can uh, work with your Luna Bot in the Luna Pits area, in your Luna Pits area to um, see how it's working. You wouldn't be able, it's not an actual practice session. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he means by Luna Pits, the Luna Arena itself, and if so, that then no. The only time you can actually go in the Luna Arena for your practice is during your uh, scheduled practice attempt. Mm -hmm. Is it necessary okay. to reach the 14th? Um, this is from Mexico. Jorge in Mexico. Jorge from Mexico is necessary to reach the 14th. Um, the 14th is the earliest that we will accept a Lunabot. It doesn't have to be here on the 14th. It, you can bring it with you. Or it can arrive by noon on Tuesday. What mm -hmm. day is that? The yeah. 22nd. 22nd. That's the latest. It must arrive by the 22nd at noon. You must be here having checked in and mm -hmm. um, on site at noon on the 22nd, which is Tuesday. That's the latest you can check in. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Next, we have the logistics. Okay. And um, we kind of talked about some of this a little bit in your questions, but keep them coming, that's fine. Um, each team is assigned a Luna Pit. It's a 10 foot by 10 foot Luna Pit, and that is your work area. Um, and um, all of your uh, equipment needs to be stored in your area. And um, you can um, work as long as you need to in a wire capacity. And as Susan said, there are some wireless opportunities. Um, the work that you do in there uh, has to be, um, let's just say, something that can be done in a safe environment. For instance, if what you're doing requires goggles, then it cannot be done. We cannot allow one team to be um, welding or, or doing something that requires safety equipment that nobody else in the room has. So um, if you're doing something um, if you're planning to do something that requires safety equipment, you will have to do it somewhere else. It will not be able to be done in the Luna Pits. Um, keep your Luna Pits uh, nice and neat the whole time. The Team Spirit judges are going to be there on the practice days as well. We're going to be having all sorts of guests and potential employers um, walking through the Luna Pits throughout the entire week. So we would appreciate if everybody uh, kept their area nice and neat the whole time. Um, let's see, um, NASA will provide personal protection equipment, which is safety type equipment, uh, when you go into the Lunar Arena. So we'll provide goggles and masks when you go into the Lunar Arena. And then if you're actually going into the sandbox, you will also, um, be provided gloves and coveralls. And then, um, after you do, when you come out of the Lunar Arena and your Luna bot is dirty and you're cleaning it off, with the vacuum and brush, you have to uh, continue to wear your personal protection equipment while you're cleaning it off. And we'll 
be providing the equipment to clean it off as well. Um, anytime there is um, thunderstorms or lightning in the area, uh, the tents are not a safe area for folks to be during a, a lightning storm, so we need to go in a facility, and there's uh, several buildings nearby, such as the IMAX Theater, and we'll be making uh, announcements so and, and also be putting uh, stuff out on Facebook, so you'll know if, uh, if there's a reason why we need to leave the tent for safety reasons. Um, also, we have, um, like last year, we'll be having a shuttle bus from the parking lot to the uh, Lunabotics area. So you park your car, you get on the bus, and that will shuttle people all day long from about 8 in the morning until uh, 7 o'clock at night. So, um, And don't confuse this with the bus that's going to be bringing you mm -hmm. to the competition from Cocoa Beach, mm -hmm. from the hotels. This is... Uh, like a 12 passenger van that will just be bringing you in and out of the parking lot basically mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. don't don't confuse those two yes thank you for clarifying that. yeah okay any questions about the logistics and um gloria mentioned facebook and twitter uh just a second ago <laughs> and i just want to encourage you there is a lot of activity on facebook and twitter and instagram for lunabotics so if you have not um, signed on to one of those social media accounts, please join the, the discussion there. Um, we want to encourage you to discuss things among yourselves and uh, about the competition on the social media pages and mm -hmm. share the ones, the teams that have competed here before. Please, you know, share your experiences and um, let the new, new teams know what to expect, you know, on things that you've experienced. Mm -hmm. So if you have something to share, please, please um, use that media to do that as well. Okay, so um, the next thing is practice days. Okay, NASA EDGE will be interviewing teams and filming Lunabotics activities and they will be streaming live through the entire event, well starting with the opening ceremony. So after that, uh, you will, um, after you um, are, when you're ready to practice and, and everything, they'll be walking around probably and um, talking with different people during the practice day. So just be aware of that and um, make sure that we have your media release. If, if you haven't sent that in for any reason, make sure that we have that. The camera view of Lunar, the Lunarina and the mission control room will be displayed in the Luna Pits tent. We'll have video screens up where everyone can see. Um, the visitor complex guest will be allowed to walk through the Luna Pits area, so Gloria mentioned to keep them nice and neat, and also we want to encourage you to talk with the guest as they come through and, and um, you know, feel free to, to talk about your Lunabot and uh, anything about your team. If you're international, then you know feel free to talk about your country with with the guest and things like that, uh, or your school or whatever. That's fine. Um, the Luna Pits, as we mentioned before, will be open 24 hours a day on Monday and Tuesday. So starting uh, Monday morning, eight o'clock, the Luna Pits will open, and they will not close until um, well. Wednesday at 7. So mm -hmm. um, at 7 o'clock on Wednesday evening, we will shut down the Luna Pits and everybody needs to go home after that. <laughs> Hopefully you will have gotten some sleep during those three days, but you know, if not, definitely then. Mm -hmm. um, but you are welcome to, to work through the night if you need to on your Luna Bot during, on Monday and Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. um, as we mentioned before, the Luna Bots will not be quarantined, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, however, you may be the first team to go, so be ready for Wednesday at, mm -hmm. at 1 o'clock mm -hmm. when, when the opening ceremony starts. And um, right at 2 o'clock, we'll start the competition. So, you know, don't think that you'll have all week to, to prepare your Luna Bot for, um, you know, a competition attempt on Saturday. It, you'll... You could be drawn for the first team, so. That's right. So we want everybody to come already prepared and ready to go and yes. not putting your Lunabot together when you get there. Yeah. And testing and 
Right. We hope Make that sure. you're like on to testing now. Mm -hmm. we're, we're getting into the testing phase, hopefully, mm -hmm. at your school. So, um, the team may not perform a practice attempt without passing the communications check and the Lunabot inspection. So there's um, a very prescribed path that you have to go through to get to the practice attempt. And only one practice attempt is permitted. Okay, I'm going to go on and talk about the buses situation. Um, These are the buses that uh, Susan had mentioned earlier. Um, we have buses that will be available to pick up folks from the uh, Cocoa Beach hotels. There's three hotels in Cocoa Beach that um, the buses will be stopping at in the morning uh, at a few different times and we'll let you know those times specifically. And then um, in the afternoon and evening the buses will bring you back. Um, we are in the process of determining how many buses we need and, uh, and the pickup times and whatnot. So there will be some questions um, on the form that you'll be filling out um, that's due April 30th. And so uh, please be sure if you need a bus to answer those questions so that we know how many buses to get and, um, and where they will um, need to be. Okay. And we'll, we'll post that information very quickly thereafter mm -hmm. in case you do need to switch hotels or whatever. Um, you know, we'll post the one with the most, where the most teams are staying within a reasonable distance. So um, that form will be what you, it's your team form that you fill out with your team code so that you, um, when you turn in your video, or documentation and your documentation that will be those questions will be on that team form okay so the check-in procedure at the competition 